Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I know it's been a few weeks since we've done any shop work. We've been working on other job sites, but if I can get the sun out of the way here. We're finally starting to close this thing up. Here's the update. Enjoy the video. Last time you saw this building, it was just framing. There was no sheathing on the roof or anything in the front and back wall gable ends. We're just open framing and now we're starting to close it up. We did a layer of uh, 7 16 OSB and then on top of that we used a 1x4 strapping. The thing that's great about these steel roofs is there's only nine pieces per side here. Now one tip I gotta give for doing these steel roofs, if you ever gonna do them or steel siding for that matter, is you can see my screw pattern across another one there, another one there, and one at the top. And all my screws along the bottom, because this still needs the drip edge done on it and the, and the foam gaskets underneath. Before we brought any pieces up here, while they were still in the stack, we measured and pre-drilled all these holes at once. You leave them in the stack, you figure out where you want your holes to be at the edge and where in the rib you want them and wherever the pieces overlap and you pre-drill all the holes first while they're stacked then when you send them up here you're not filling around all the holes are there and they all line up nice not that anybody's gonna look up here after the fact but for example siding when you do siding along the building it's nice when the it's nice when all the screws line up You already have your sheets up there. The best way to get screws that line up is you put, measure one side, put a screw on that end, put a screw on that end, put a string across it tight, and then fill in your screws in the middle, and they'll always line up nice. Yeah. After we got a bunch of these sheets up, there's a capping piece at the top that has foam gaskets for, for ventilation. And we got this front piece detail that caps off the front and finishes off the front here. Still have to do the one on the back and like I said, there's gaskets that go in the end and finish bolting this thing up. These are the gaskets that'll go on the bottom. They follow the rib shape and they'll fit in all the ends here and seal it up nice. After this sheeting was completed, I finished off these, I don't know what you call them, like a bird's mouth return. I always find it way easier to do these, put the sheeting on first and then build these after. I would maybe suggest putting the house wrap on first and then building these after. And the house wrap would just end up behind that piece. Easy to wrap the house wrap around the corner without those in the way, but no big deal. This piece here will help when the soffit comes level across the back, it ends there. And then so the soffit has a spot, ends there. This will all be wrapped in aluminum and then square soffit all the way down the side. It will vent, vent through that side, through there. And then the foam, the foam gaskets up there will help vent the roof out. We're debating since we've got the, such a good deal on this and it's actually cheaper than the insulation, maybe doing the same things we did on the end or if I slice this right down the middle, I get two pieces out of it and we can cut them to fit all the joist bays and I get insulation in the ceiling as well. If I cut those set panels to fit inside those joist bays but I leave an air space at the sheathing, I leave an air space at the sheathing up there It'll vent up from my soffit up to the ridge cap up there. And it'll have a thermal break there so there'll be no sweating on the roof. Keeping with the theme of this build, we uh, found another Facebook marketplace find. We've acquired a wicked deal on more sit panels. So what we ended up doing, you can kind of see there the little, those are all where the two by six studs were on the gable end, we actually cut the pieces to fit and spray foamed in between them. Kind of like making your own puzzle pieces. 
We did the same thing. We did the same thing at the front up there. So this is, this whole front wall here is regular two by six wall and we cut the panels over there to fit all up in these stud base here. So even though this is full two by six structure, it's still the same R value up here as well as around the perimeter. So yeah, we're almost weather tight once the last pieces of roofing go on there and we can we can throw that Tyvek on here and we can put siding on this. We ordered the garage doors. This, the big garage door won't be ready for a few more weeks, but that's okay. We're back and forth at other job sites for the next week or so. And then we're gonna be back to this. Once we get the, once we're weather type, we can start working on the inside stuff too. Get the, uh, we wanna get the epoxy floor down before the weather turns. And we need a roof to do that because the slab has to be dry and clean. So what soon, there's gonna be paper on there and the siding. If you guys are enjoying the content, please hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, if you have any questions or anything. Please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.